everyone. This is Skivo at Between Realities, and I am here at CES 2022 with OWO, a new haptics company that I have never heard of, but I'm excited to check it out. And we have Shayna here with us, and we're just going to ask a couple questions. How are you doing? Really good. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about the product and how it may differ from, uh, differ from other solutions like, like B-Haptics and Tesla Suit and stuff like that? Okay, so we're a sensations technology, and that's right now applied to uh, the vest, but it could be applied to anything. Um, and what we do, what makes us different, is that we create different physical sensations. So uh, let's say be haptics, they use vibration. Uh, we use trains of pulse, so those are electrical impulses, and that means that we can uh, modify the wave, uh, we can modify nine algorithm. Um, nine parameters of the wave with our algorithm and create sensations that are really different from each other like a, a punch which stimulates a whole muscle or a dart which is really precise and yeah I, I could give you loads more examples we've got over 30. <laughs> wow that's so cool so I think the the biggest question people are going to have with something like this is is how do you implement something like this and do you have many games implemented at the moment and what are some of those titles? Okay, so it's really easy to implement. Uh, we've done it as simple as possible for, for VR uh, developers in general. Uh, so we've got uh, SDKs in Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, C++, and C Sharp. And the way to do it is you just include it, introduce it in the engine, and uh, choose a sensation and the muscle each time you want there to be an action with a sensation. And it's compatible with VR, but also PC mobiles. And compatible games, uh, for example, we've got Contractors, we've got Neos, we've got... Um, Neos, woo! <laughs> um, yeah, we've got Crisis Brigade, which is Spanish. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're, we're talking to several others, uh, especially through SideQuest on VR. And on the PC, we've got some great Spanish games, local games, um, which are, for example, we've got Fear the Dark and Known, which is a terror uh, game. Um, Beyond Mankind, which is an action RPG, and of course we've also got Fortnite, uh, uh, LOL, um, Valorant, um, Rocket League, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. So it sounds like you guys are coming along with your integrations, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the, I think the other thing people are really going to want to know is, is a couple things, right? How do we get this? When can we get it? And how much is it? Okay, so you can't get it yet. You can pre-order now um, at our website and uh, that'll probably give you a discount when it comes out in October-ish. <laughs> October is our um, goal date, but with COVID it's a bit complicated to, to know for sure 100%. Fingers crossed. <laughs> um, and yeah, it'll be about $450. Cool, awesome. Are there any other pieces coming? Is it just gonna be the shirt? Or is there going to be anything else in the works? So we've done the shirt and we want to see what traction that has, uh, but we've already got the pants prepared and designed. We're just not manufacturing yet. Nice. Awesome. Well, cool. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day here. I know it's pretty hectic at CES. This is super awesome. I can't wait to check this out in more detail. And I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Awesome. Thank you.